Hey, I'm not trying to compete with Buzz, man, okay? I know. In fact, I think I'm in the mood for one of those babies today. Listen, Max, let me hit on him. I want to talk to Drew alone, okay? Come on. What? I got something important to talk to you about. What? Well, this. What? <laughs> Hey, rise and shine. Sleep much lately? What time is it? It's almost seven. Oh, no, I know it can't be. That means they almost left. Who? My dad and Beth are trip to the Bahamas is leaving soon. What did she do to your hair? The Bahamas, that's awesome. It's not awesome. Oh, God. I'm such an idiot. How did I get mixed up with Beth's drink? What are you talking about now? I... I put sleeping pills in Beth's drink, and... I must have got the glasses mixed up. Are you crazy? I gotta get to the airport. I'm not going anywhere. Totally wrong. Danny, calm down, please. What happened to Michelle? You were both dead, you hear me? Oh, this is ridiculous. And who called me on my cell phone? With the, the, this phony bomb scare? Who? I have better things to do than to think about Michelle. You have never stopped trying to get her out of my life. You can't stand that she's a part of it. Oh, my I life. don't care about her life. Danny, we have serious enemies out there. We cannot afford to be fighting each other. You better hope that she's okay. Come on, Michelle. Where's Dietz? Oh, huh? Dietz has better things to do for this family. You think I forget that you tried to kill her when my back was turned, do you? Maybe if you stopped trying to railroad your mother, up. common sense would kick in. Do you remember yesterday, Danny? You remember the bomb? You remember who you are, who your enemies are? You're the only one who wants Michelle out of the way. Don't think I don't know that. You can't blame me for everything that's I happened can, to Michelle. I can, and I Danny. do. Why don't we think about the possibilities? You know, I gotta find my wife. Thank you for defending me once again, Ben. You're welcome. But now that it's just you and me, why don't you tell me what you did do with Michelle? You don't believe what I told Daniel? No, you're good, but you are the only person who wants Michelle out of the way. Is that so? Yes, and frankly, I don't see what you have to gain anymore, Carmen. You're not going to separate them, and you're only alienating your son by trying. Well, that's where we disagree. I think that they can be separated permanently. Don't worry. I just had her shipped off to a foreign prison. It's run by a associate friend of mine. She's on a boat tonight. Carmen. Carmen. <laughs> oh, Ben. I thought you knew by now when I'm telling the truth and when I'm not. You did nothing to admission? 
No, no. But I'll consider sending flowers to whomever did. Yes, but what about the phone call? I heard you talking to Dietz, telling him to take care of something. That had nothing to do with Michelle. It had to do with you. You know, we acted like mother and daughter before I knew the truth, and I just figured it was because of our ages or because she was looking for a daughter and I was looking for my mom, you know? You know what I mean? I had no idea. So what, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna continue on like, like your old friendship was before, or what? Yeah. And she doesn't want to hurt Max any more than I do. She's a good person, you know? But she can't stop acting motherly, and I love it, and I can't stop feeling like I'm her daughter. Yeah. You are her daughter, Drew. I know. And this way, everyone gets what they want, you know? But God, I have a mom, Jesse, and I have a brother. I have, I have a family. Look, Joe, I, I think that that's great. I mean, I really do, but... You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I sound like a broken record, right? No. I mean, I keep no, going on and on about these two. Yes, I do. You think I'm crazy, right? I am crazy! I mean, I have the love of my life, and I spend romantic dinners talking about my long-lost mother, no, I and I talk about I, Max all the time. Stop. You think I'm crazy, and you're tired of I, it. Tell I me. I think it's great. I'm not tired of it, okay? I'm, you know, it makes me love you more that your family means that much to you. It does. Okay. But maybe we should start talking about you a little bit. Huh. Honey. Huh. How have you felt during this? You know, you don't even have a family. I got you. That's enough. It's not the same thing. <laughs> it's not. I want to know things like... Do you miss your mom? Well, yeah, I mean, I think about her. She's my mom. You know, she, she died giving birth to me. You know that, right? I'm sure she wanted it to be that way. I'm sure she wanted to bring you in the world, right? Yeah. I just wish I could have met her, you know? I wish that my dad's life would have been lost with hers, too. He never got over it? He just started drinking. And drinking. Drinking some more. Gosh, I mean, he, he just wasted his life. He, he hated life after that happened. And he blamed me for losing her. Oh, God, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry that you lost both your parents. Well, you know, if, if, if I, 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 I wouldn't call him, it just wouldn't work out. And I'm just, I'm happy for you, you know? I'm, I'm happy that I have you. You know, and you've always stuck by me. No one's ever done that for me. Yeah, but I know there's times when you wish that I wasn't sticking by you and stuff because I was annoying you. And no, no, you were never annoying me. Everything you did, you had to do because I was so hard-headed, I couldn't see what the heck was right in front of me. You needed to do that. You know, you supported me always. And now it's time I support you. And I'm happy that you have a new family. I am. Obviously. What, what if it had worked or something? You don't think anyone would have noticed her sleeping here? Like I told you before, I didn't really think that far ahead. You know, you can't trick Beth out of your dad's life. Why not? I mean, she tricked him into it. That's the only reason why he likes her. I mean... You okay? And so can I. What are you talking about now? I'm gonna have a wild time tonight with you, Max. You weren't totally wrong because look what I've been doing. Act 
acting as if this place was uh, still my home. It'll always be your home, Ross. This is where your boys live. I know, I know that I'm welcome here, but I have been behaving as if I'm just temporarily away. Yeah, I know what you mean. And I shouldn't do that because I have my own life. It doesn't totally fit just yet, but it's mine. I guess we've both been in limbo, keeping one foot in each other's lives. And not moving on. my apartment I don't own a damn thing it's rented space with rented furniture and I'm in a holding pattern that I have to break out of we need more time Ross I don't know how to not be a part of your life but you know whenever I come over here I I begin to see things I see toys. I see photographs. And I see faces and... I don't know, my mind starts to play tricks on me and... I forget that things have happened and time has passed. It's because nothing here has changed. It's all the same. Unfortunately, we have changed. And we can't keep trying to hold on to a past that's been destroyed. I don't know why I've been so reluctant to change, Rose. I didn't even realize I was doing it. I've been waiting for my feelings about the past to evaporate. And I don't know, I see you, you're waiting, I, you're doing something, you're trying to get stronger, stand on your own, something. I'm still waiting. These um, divorce papers came a couple weeks ago. Why did you wait until now to give them to me? I don't know. I called here earlier and Ben answered. Oh, Ross, uh, that was just, we were talking as friends just because he helped Holly, that's all. It doesn't matter, it's not about that. It's just that when I called, I realized I'm tired of waiting. Because what I'm waiting for doesn't exist and it's not going to happen. Michelle! 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 Look. David. Oh, don't do this. Oh, oh be so stupid. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, you idiot. Trace the call. Oh, I should have known. I should have Rough you up at all? Are you okay? Attendance. Would you, you had me kidnapped? Michelle. Are you kidding just me? Calm down. Oh my god, just, what the hell is wrong with I was you? I'm trying to protect you, Michelle. This is what you call protection. I don't want it, Rick. You've almost been killed twice, and I'm not gonna let that happen. I can again. take care of myself. You cannot take care of yourself, Michelle. That's why I'm gonna do it for you. You can't do this to me. I already have, Michelle. I have authority to put a 72-hour psychiatric hold on any person who I feel is a danger to themselves. Uh, Unfortunately, Michelle, you qualify. You can't do this. You cannot lock me up. I already have. So I do whatever I have to to protect you.
It's, it's beyond me. Do you have any idea Michelle, what I was going through was going through I my know, mind? Do you okay, know what I thought down, was going to happen down. to me? I know that you're upset. I know that. You think but I'm I want you to, upset. No, 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 no. I want you to think about why you're upset and why you were scared. I would have been fine if Danny had been there. I would have been fine, but he went up because there's a bomb threat at his house. I have to Phillip, call him. I have to no, see you do not. Philip made the call. phone call. Philip made the phone call at our house. He was trying to get you alone so the attendants could pick you up. I knew Danny would recognize my voice. That's brilliant. That's really brilliant, Rick. You know, maybe Carmen has a position open for you. You're getting real good at this, Rick. I, I know you're upset, but I know choice. You think I'm upset? You think I'm mad? Let me tell you something. Do you know how upset and mad Danny's going to be when he finds out why you're I don't give a burning? damn about Danny. I care about you. You're my sister. You can't do this to me. You can't lock me up in here, Rick, please. I already have, Michelle. For the next three days, you're gonna be out of commission, and maybe then you'll start thinking straight. Fine. Fine, you go ahead, you lock me up for three days. And when they're over, I'm going right back to Danny, and there's nothing that you can do about it. I've already thought about that, Michelle. I'm worried about you. If the psychiatric report comes back, and if there's any disturbing information, I'm gonna have you hospitalized for a definite period of time. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> But I'll do it. I have to. You can't do this to me. Michelle, you might hate me for this. But you know what? I gotta stop this death wish you have with Danny Santos. I've got to. See, I've been doing everything all wrong. See, instead of being bummed about it, I should just take advantage of it. Of what? My dad will gaga over Beth. I mean, he's not gonna notice me. And why not have some fun? You know, some real fun. Right, the wild time you're talking about, of course. What could you do? Whatever. Anything. Anything? Mm -hmm. We could stay out all night. And it's not like my dad's gonna be around to wait for us. What about Harley? Mm, I'll tell her that I'm at Tori's house and Tori will cover for me. You should go home, Suze. Sleep it off. When did you get to be so boring? Fine. I'll go party by myself. You can't even stand. I just got up too quick. No, you're half asleep. Not. And I get ready and oh. Look, um. There's this party that I know about, and I'm going, whether you want to or not. So it's going to be. Fine. All right, it's fine. All right. Um, yeah. I'll go with you, just, just to keep an eye on you, though. Drew, I'm going to be hey. home late tonight. Where are you going? Uh, late movie. See you. Be careful. See ya, Max. Max. Oh, they're so cute together, right? They are, but, but I don't know. I don't know. Is this okay? They're going to the movies together. Is this okay? I think it's harmless. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. okay. You know what else that means? What else does that mean? Oh, my. That means that, uh... We have the loft all to ourselves for a couple of hours, doesn't it? And uh, a lot of lost time to make up. Oh, time, time, oh, time, time that I have just spent fantasizing about you, about all the things that I want to do to you. Really? Yeah. I, I can, I can, I can picture unbuttoning your shirt and kissing you all over. I can picture you taking me. What would you like? Huh? Special today's meatloaf. Um, yeah, yeah, we love that. Just two, you know what? Just bring us two of the quickest things on the menu. How's that? Okay. To what? The kingdom, Ben. So why am I suddenly in Camelot? But first, a toast to the man 
was going to own this town. With me, of course. That key is to the office of San Corp. It's the uh, first business my husband started when he came to Springfield. He and Bernard built it into the company that it is today. And now, thanks to uh, Nino's stupidity, the Santos family have complete control of it. And luckily for you, it is in direct competition to Spalding. You finally have your revenge, Ben. Congratulations. And so the phone call was, uh... I wanted Dietz to go to my contracts department and draw up the papers immediately. I'm making you president of Sancor. You keep your promises, don't you, Carmen? Of course I do. You deserve it, and I believe in you. Now, not to split hairs, but you mentioned president, not CEO. No. You'll be reporting to me as CEO. Well, you know, I was hoping to own the company outright. <laughs> not that I wouldn't enjoy working for you, Carmen. I can't give it to you, Ben. It's been in my family for years. But you will own a major piece of the company. Hmm. And have my revenge on Alan Spalding. <sighs> you came through for me, Carmen. I told you we'd be good together. And I want to keep you around for a very long time. Good. Although, I have to admit, I expected you to stab me in the back. Well, you almost did. How things change. Well, like Alan, I underestimated you. But I won't be making that mistake again. I have big plans for you, Ben. I suppose you do. And you've come through for me too, Ben. And I honestly want to make you happy, whatever it takes. This feeling, it's a bitter regret that things can't be as they were. And I can't wait for this feeling to vanish. And that's why we have got to use this to end it, or else we will never move on. Dissolution of marriage. No fault? some sort of ceremony, something. I mean, we could just invite everybody who came to our wedding and anybody who, who invested into us, into our future, and then I could turn around and I could stand up and apologize for, for letting go of something so precious. The problem is we didn't let go, not completely. I've been keeping the door open just a little so we could get back together again. I'm still wearing the memory. Now is the time to do this. 
I can't do this without your help. We've done everything together, Ross. You help me do this one last thing. Help me close the door. What is this? Ah, a lake. I know it's a lake. Where's the party? There's no party. You lied to me? This is make out point. We can have our own party. You're unbelievable. What did you say to me once? Oh, yeah, lighten up. You know what I mean? I've always wanted to come here, but my dad, he would never let me. Even during the day? He said it wasn't safe to go swimming without adult supervision. Not like then I'm going to have his adult supervision anymore. Come on, we're getting you home. No, no, no. I'm, I'm having fun. You know, you should, should try it sometime. Oh, look. Oh, look. A full moon. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Sorry. Sorry. Did you get a grip? You know, I know you're mad at your dad and Beth and everything, but, you know, just trying to do something crazy to make up for it, it's just stupid. Oh, look who's talking, Mr. Juvenile Hall himself. Hey, I've done some stupid things, but that's how I know this is dumb, all right? Mind your own business, okay? I don't need you as a babysitter. Right, I'm sorry I yelled at you, okay? You're about to fall asleep. Come on, let's get out of here. No, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. If you are not into it, I'm just going to have to start the party myself. Where's the phone? I get a phone call in this jail cell, don't I, Rick? Please stop it. Stop it. Calling Danny's not going to help. I'm not calling Danny. I'm calling Dad. I already talked to Dad. I told Dad everything that was going on. Well, it was your version. Dad understands how important it is to keep you safe, Michelle. Dad knows that I can take care of myself, he Rick. He told me to do what I have to do, and I will do what I have to do. Great. This is great. You, Dad, Philip, ganging up on me. What, you think you all know what's best for poor, innocent little Michelle? Maybe we know this time, Michelle. Maybe we do. You know, I really wonder how you would have reacted if Alan or Dad had done something like this to you and Philip. Oh, please, you please. I wish somebody would have locked me up. Believe me, Michelle, there was times where I wish somebody did lock me up to save me from And the point is that nobody did. Dad let you live your life. You have to let me live mine. Please, you have a life of your own. Go back to it. Leave Michelle, me alone. Please, there's nothing more than I want right now. I don't have the time for this. Well, you have to straighten your life out first, Michelle, before I do anything. Rick, why can't... Why can't you understand that, that, that you just, you don't know how to relate to me anymore. You know, that's it. That's, you don't know what it's like to be young. You don't know what it's like to Thank be you. in love and, and risking everything. No, it's true. Thanks. Because you and Abby have a secure life together, all right? It's safe. Oh, excuse and it's me. Nothing excuse like what me. You completely forgot what my wife just went through. She just had major surgery to get her hearing back, Michelle. Come on. My life is full of changes. Every day it's full of anxiety. Don't paint my picture as something that's not. Just, okay. Don't insult me. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. No, I'm just saying. You know, you, you and Abby know where you're going. You know where your future is headed. And you want my life to be neat and tidy like yours is, but Michelle, it's not going to happen minute, right now. My life isn't neat and tidy. It's not, okay? For the first time in my life, I have a handle on what my future is. I adore my wife. I love her so much. And I have a chance to start a family with her. But, you know, it took me a long time to get there. I made a lot of mistakes. A lot of them. And if I could stop you from making this mistake, I will. Because I love you. But you're trying to fix something that's not broken. Michelle, it is broken. And I'm going to keep you here. Because it's the only place where the Santos family can't get to you. No! Daddy! 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 Right. Okay. No one is going to keep you awake. Mm. All right. I don't think I'm going to get sick eating this fast. You know what? Let me slow you down, honey. Open up. Mm. I'm 
don't think you're uh, slowing me down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you want another jolt? Uh, yeah. Jolt. Another cup of coffee? No, 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 no. You know, you know, why don't you just bring us the check as quickly as you can, please? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That ought to cover it, right? Thanks. <laughs> you were in my mind. <laughs> Joe! Danny! Hey, Danny! Get no! Get off! Michelle! You keep him out of there. Keep him out of there. It's ridiculous! You have no right to do this! I have every right. She's Wait, my sister. She is my wife! Who you're incapable of protecting! Excuse me. You're the one causing her pain right now. No, right? I am saving my sister's life. I tried reasoning with you, Danny. I don't tell her what to do. She makes her own decisions and she wants to be with me. Fine. I'll do what I have to do. Rick. Rick. Come on. I understand that you are concerned for her. But she is my wife and I can take care of her, right. okay? Don't death do us part. Is that how it goes, Danny? We are... We... Come on. We can't live without each other. I'm not gonna let that happen ever. As long as I live, you're the one who needs to let go. Now let me take my wife home. I'm not letting you take my sister anywhere. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. You're right, of course. But we started together. We should finish together. Thank you. Um, you should look over this divorce decree to see if it's good for you. Rosa, could it be good for me? It is what it is. Yes, but if you have any questions, something you want to discuss... I know what it says, Ross. All our assets have been divided and visitation secured. It's fair, it's amicable. How else could it be with you? Oh. I have one thing. Is it about the decree? photographs. I've been meaning to put them into a photo album, but I just haven't done it, and I figured we've split everything else down the middle. We might as well. Get these. beautiful photo album you can find and put these in. Are you sure? Something of our life together should remain intact. We have our memories. I can't put this off any longer, huh? No, we can't. I'm ready. Are you? What do you think you're doing? I'm going swimming. What does it look like? Uh-uh, nobody's going swimming. Oh, really? Uh, well, let me see about that. Susan, come on. The sleeping pills haven't worn off yet. You're gonna drown. And so, what is the next move in our dance? Dance? Mm -hmm. I thought we were sealing this partnership. Well, what's the difference? It's not, is it? I guess there is no difference. 
You've been very generous with me today, Carmen. But what I'm thinking is, what, what would you want in return? Oh, believe me, this partnership will be rewarding for us both. Hmm. And your kiss, was that part of the pact? No. Well, that was a kiss. Yeah. So? Now what? Now? Now it's time to go to bed. Oh. Uh, For me to uh, go to bed alone. Uh, we should get up bright and early and begin our work, partner. Hmm. Till tomorrow, then. We did. Get away with this. This is not right, man. Oh, what a joke. You're telling me what's immoral and unethical. I am not holding her against her will. No, you you're are. Let you... my sister run out there and get hit with a stray bullet. No, you two. I'm going to get her out of here. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that doesn't happen. By the way, fine. This is a war, and you're the enemy. Fine, fine. Excuse me. <laughs> so, I'm going to get you out of here, okay? Hang in there, I'll find a way. Okay. 